Hi friends, welcome to Civil Learning Library for the topic Tension Members Part 4, L Angle Design. Then we will assume the load as 40 kN as dead load and live load as 60 kN for this uh, angle and uh, yield strength as 250 Newton per mm square and ultimate as 400 Newton per mm square. We are taking the angle sizes 100 by 100 by 10 mm. Grass area of this angle is 19.2 cm square and bolt dia is 20 mm, bolt hole is 22 mm. We are assuming that this angle length is 2 meter and radius of gyration of 100 by 100 angle is 3.04 and density of angle is 177 cm power 4. First we will find out the record strength of this angle. So for LR, LRP method we have to factor the load. The formula is 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load and 1.2 into 40 plus 1.6 into 60. So the angle should carry minimum of 144 kN. Then we will check the available tensile yield strength of this angle. So for calculating tensile yield strength of angle, the formula is Fi into Ag. Fi we know that the yield strength of the angle. Into Ag is nothing but the grass area of angle is 19.2. Uh, it's we are converting into mm square 1920. Hence, the tensile yield strength of the angle is 480 kN and then we will multiply with the factor of safety. Factor of safety for LRP is 0.9 for tensile yield strength calculation. So, 0.9 into 480 values, the value is 432 kN which is greater than 144 kN. Hence, this angle is okay for tensile yield strength. Next, we have to calculate the available tensile rupture strength of the angle. For rupture strength, the formula is Fu into Ae. To find out the Ae, the formula is An into U. Uh, so An is nothing but the net area. So for to find out the net area for this angle, the formula is Ag, grass area minus dH plus 1 by 16 into T. dH is the cold diameter of the bolt. So if you are substituting the value, we know that all values, Ag, then dH, we know that 1 by 16, just time, this is uh, in uh, American units, just I converted into SI units, then 22 plus 1.5 T is thickness of the angle 10. So we, we are getting the value of 1685s An value. Then we have to calculate the U value. U value we have to calculate based on this table 3.1. For each member, this uh, U lag factor is given here separately. Uh, in our case, you can see these uh, images. Uh, this is for uh, all tension members where the tension load is transmitted directly to each cross section. This is for case 1. For case 2, it is applicable for I sections, uh, T sections or L angle. So our case is L angle. So we can take the formula from here. And uh, then for each HSS and everything, they are given separate uh, formula for uh, uh, each members. So coming to here, our case is L angle. So we are taking case 2. In case 2, all tension members except plates and HSS where the tension load is transmitted to some but not all of the cross-sectional elements by fasteners or longitudinal welds. So here uh, we are uh, transmitting the loads through fasteners and uh, this is applicable for all the members except plates and HSS. So we can use this formula for shear lag factor calculation. Also there is a condition given that alternatively for W, M, S and HP I section, K7 may be used. Means K7 may be used for calculating U factor for this kind of I sections. For angles, K8 may be used. So for angles, this K8 also we can use it. So K8 what, what is saying? Single and double angles. For single and double angles, if U is calculated per K2 the larger value is permitted to be used. So if you are calculating U value based on this formula as well as we are following case 8 and we are, whichever is coming higher we can use that value as U value. So here as per case 8 if we are our bolt is 4 or more then our U value is 0.8. If it is 3 or less then we can use U is equal to 0.6. So first we will calculate based on this case 2. So as per case 2, the formula is 1 minus x by L. X is nothing but the connection eccentricity and L is the length of connection. Here just uh, I am assuming that our eccentricity is 50 mm and uh, 
our connection this length is 2 meter so we are getting u values 0.975 as per case 2 for case 8 if uh, i'm assuming that bolt is less than 3 so our u value is 0.6 so we have to use larger value hence u is equal to 0.975 then we can find out a a is equal to an into u so 1685 into 0.975 is equal to 1643 mm square so then available design tensile rupture strength is equal to 0.75 into fu into ae so we are getting 492 kilonewton which is greater than 144 kilonewton code is recommending slenderness value also for the tension members for tension member the recommended value is 300 the formula for slenderness value is L effective length by radius of gyration for 100 by 100 by 10 angle the radius of gyration value is 30.4 mm our length is 2 meter here so we are getting the value of 65.78 which is lesser than 300 hence it is satisfying the slenderness also hope this video is helpful and thank you for watching the presentation please like and subscribe to get more videos and updations